Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest is one of the original MCs of hip-hop's best-known hits for, like, I'm Not Having It, and his duo with MC Light, I Got A Man. I Got A Man. Yes. Now he's commanding the mic on comedy stages all over the country. Please welcome rapper and comedian, Positive K. Yes. <laughs> What's up? It's okay there. Good, I'm good. I can't Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Beautiful ladies. Have a seat, Thank sir. Par purple marks your spot. I, I, I feel like I'm in the postcard right now. Uh-oh. <laughs> postcard. Yes, sir. Okay, now, welcome. Thanks for having me. All right, well, let's start off because, you know, we lost our beloved Aretha Franklin yesterday, and you actually, from what I understand, performed for her, correct? I performed for her. But it's a funny story behind that. Listen to this story. Here's the story. My mother worked in my office at one time. And uh, the call came in that Aretha Franklin wanted me to perform for. Oh, okay. And I said, okay, all right. I said, Mom, stop answering the phone. There's some crazy people out here. So she calls again in the evening, and I answer the phone. And I said, stop calling. Her. Stop calling the office. I said, what are you doing? Da da da. Hang up the phone. Up. Bam. You hung up on Auntie Rita. I hung up on Aretha Franklin. How? Was I didn't that know possible? it was her though. I didn't know it was her. So I go home and I wake up the next day and I'm watching a, 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 a TV show. Right. Next thing I know, she's on the show and she's saying how much she likes Positive K. Mm. Oh, and I wow. said, wow. I said, I hung up on the Queen of Soul, and I'm jumping around, <laughs> and I'm screaming, and I'm like, oh, my God, oh, my God. You know, but uh, they called back, and they booked the show, and they got me in. Nice. And it was the most beautiful thing. It was uh, the Duke Ellington band. It was uh, Sarah Dash, Bobby Womack, and myself. Oh, that sounds so how did her, Right. How did her music influence you, if, if any at all? Oh, come on. Uh, she's the soundtrack of generations. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Uh, the, 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 the grace, the beauty, the power. The soul mm -hmm. that just touches everybody. Yes, she's like you like your mother, your sister, your aunt, and your best friend all right, around in the world. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. So we've talked about the Queen of Soul. May she rest in peace. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about your music for a second. Now yes. you grew up in the Bronx, right? Boogie down. In New York. That's right. And describe the hip hop scene in the late eighties and early nineties, if you can for us. And uh when some of your biggest hits came out then too, right? That's right, that's right. It's a very B boy, very organic, mm -hmm. very street. Uh, uh, very cultural, fashionable. Uh, you had to be there. It was a feeling you just felt yeah. when you walked out on the streets in the Bronx, you know, and it's like it's just, it was a connection for the music. You know, it was just a con connection with the people and to the street. Mm -hmm. You know, so it was just, it was, it was a great time for music. We're coming on the 25th anniversary of your duet with MC Light. Well, that was I'm Not Having It. I'm Not Having It. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. How, what was one of the greatest lessons that you learned? Uh, keep your circle small. Mm. Keep your circle very small, and if you can do it, do it yourself. Wow. Yeah, yeah. That's what I learned. Wow, that is a great lesson. And you have some recent music out now. Yeah. yeah obviously, you don't stop. And um, who have you worked with on this project? Uh, some of the great producers. I worked with uh, the, the uh, Vance Wright. I worked with uh, DJ Scratch, Easy Moby. Uh, a lot of great guys. Uh, my partner. Uh, half of the nice and smooth, his name is Greg Nice. Mm -hmm. We yeah. got together and we started a group called the Great Minds, because great minds do what? Think alike. Right. right. That's what we do, yeah. So listen, the people tell me, because when they called me, they said, Positive K is on tour. Who are you currently on tour with? Because you're moving around with a lot of uh, hip-hop greats. Who are you on tour with? I'm doing dates with the, uh, I love the 90s. Okay. With Salt and Pepper on them. Uh, I'm out with uh, Kid and Play, doing the house party tour mm -hmm. and I'm doing a new thing with Mr. Cheeks which is called Music Makes Me High Tour mm -hmm. and that's with the brand Nubians and myself and Mr. Cheeks of course. And a little mm -hmm. birdie landed in the studio today and said you think you're a comedian. Now see I, <laughs> you I tell jokes? Lie. Rap is my wife that's my wife. Okay. Comedy is my it's, side chick. It's your side <laughs> chick. <What? laughs> so tonight you're going to be at the Uptown Comedy Theater with um, t break, me, break it down who you'll be there with this uh, tonight. I'm just I'm going in to see my man D'Amico and we're going there and do a little positivity. Okay. That's what we're going to do right. in Atlanta, the Uptown Comedy Club. So come on by tonight. Who are some of the comedians that you look up to? Because I know coming out of hip hop, although they are correlated, tell me some of the comedians that you actually look up I to. I like I like the journeymen, like mm -hmm. the Marvin Hunters and the, the Rodney Perry's and right. the Zoo Man Miller. You yeah. know, those guys are great, you know. Some so. of the, those names are some that people may not even know, yeah, but, but they're they amazing, absolutely yes, yes, amazing no, those writers. Are, those are the real guys. Yes, yeah. yes. So, okay, I was listening to your songs. And I was like, I remember Positive K. Right. And so what's one of the um, situations that you can bring us back to remember uh, your songs? People that are watching the show right now. Um, what your man got to do with me, baby? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Well, you know, if you got a man, you, better take, you man. better take care of him. If you got one, take care of him. I don't want the problems right now. What, what, what <laughs> you mean? You, you just 
told me you had a wife and a side chick. What you are you taking I care of home? I said raps, raps my wife. Mm -hmm. And comedy's my side chick. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, no relationship for me. I can't do it. You're not ready for a relationship. Nah, so you just right. walk around with three or four burnt yeah, nah, phones. No, nah, that's for Torrey. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for coming down to the circle. We are so grateful. We, we are excited to see you at the Atlanta Comedy Theater. If you are in the city, make sure you go see him Uptown Comedy Club tonight. Up next week.